This is the transition that we want to create in this lecture. It's uh, just composed of a circle or multiple circles, and we use a simple effect with a scaling. So let's start by creating the mat itself. Of course, you need a test composition. In this case, I used the, the two clips, two and five, and I overlap them with two seconds. Cool. So I will start by creating a simple shape layer, and it's going to be a circle. Come to your circle tool. You click, it's the ellipse tool in fact, and you just draw a circle. Make sure that you are not selecting any layer. You can press shift to have it as a circle and then maybe you can make it as big as you want. It really doesn't matter for now. To center the circle in the middle of the composition or its own shape layer, it's very easy. You come to ellipse and you go to transform ellipse one and you just type zero zero on the position. This will reposition the circle to be in the center of its own layer and of course the layer is in the middle of the composition i will immediately pre-compose and call it matte circles and i will open the new composition now let's set uh, the composition to two seconds the first thing we do is two seconds press n bring the work area and simply right click and trim comp to work area here you are okay to do the animation here, I will use a simple effect. This is a transition effect and it is the radial wipe. I'm sure you're already familiar with it, but I will show you how to create nice transitions with this effect. If you click and drop it, that's cool. You have the effect open in the effect controls and you have transition completion from 0% to 100%. It wipes out the circle. And of course, from 100 to 0, then it will bring in the circle. Of course, you can use the wipe to be clockwise or counterclockwise, the way you would like. Okay? It really doesn't matter now. I'll keep it to clockwise. Now, this is wiping on the center of the composition, which is 960 by 540, which is also the center of the shape layer itself. We are cool here, and we can start animating. For example, I take the transition completion to 100 and keyframe it. Go after one second, 100 and put it back at 0%. Let's make sure we have a 100% just over here. Good. So we have a very simple animation that's taking one second. This is cool, but I want more here. I want uh, the shape layer to grow in scale. You can animate the scale of the shape layer. That's okay. If you press S, you can animate it. But it's much better to animate from within the content, ellipse one, the ellipse path one, you have the size. I do prefer to animate this size in case I want to play with the stroke. Fine. So let's keyframe the size and put it at zero. And then after one second, so I go to one second just over here. I will increase the size to cover the whole composition, just like this. Okay, I press shift, it will go faster, just like this. Okay, simple. Fine. So now I have a very simple animation, which is quite cool, by the way. If you come back to circles, you have already the mat here, and you can Luma invert this one, and the timing is okay. So you press space bar, it's doing very well. Let's put it on top. Let's go to the in point of this layer. And then we snap it over here. Here you are. We need to snap it a bit better. Cool. If you notice now, it's going to uncover the bottom layer. Here you are. Very nice. Let's go back to the mat and create something even better. I have here one shape layer. How about if I create several of them? Let's duplicate this shape layer. I press Ctrl D or Command D on the Mac like uh, four times will do. Right. Let's uh, select all of them. Press U to see the key frames. That's pretty interesting now. Now, I'd like to shift them a bit, just five frames, for example. Here you are, something like this. And then five frames from here and five frames from here. Cool. Let's look at our animation now. You have the first one. Of course, they are all the same color. And this is what I'm going to do. To create the mat, I need the last layer to be white. This is the one that's going to appear on top of everything. But then I can take the bottom one, change the fill, for example, to black. Let's give it, for example, 20%. Cool. Take the other one, change the black to 30% or 40%, whatever you like. Let's put it at 30. And the last one, let's change the black. We put 30, so we take maybe here 40%. Here you are. You have a very nice reveal. And the last layer is white, and it works with the Luma mat. Fine. So let's select all of them. Here you are. 
and press F9 to easy ease. Of course, you can come to the graph editor here and try to play as much as you want. I will leave it for now because it's going to be quite cool. Notice. Okay, let it render. Here you are. Fine. Let's go back to circles and see exactly what we got. Pretty nice. Notice it's very refined animation. Notice how the colors are working here at 10%, 20%, and so on until you get the full one. Now you can go back here and decide, okay, I don't want this to be 10%. You can increase, for example, to, to I don't know, 40%, 30% from here. And uh, this one, let's increase it to another uh, 20, that's 50%. And the last one, let's make it, for example, 60% of black, okay? You could have used another color, of course, that would be fine also. Then let's select all the last keyframes and then click and drag to put them at the end at two seconds. Here you are. But to be precise, you can go to two seconds and make sure these keyframes are snapping to two seconds. Fine. Let's play our animation now and see if it's cool. Not bad. The timing seems good. The circles are opening nicely. The colors are adequate. Very fine. Let's go back to the main composition circles and uh, play to see exactly what's happening. It's pretty beautiful and pretty nice. Notice by pushing the keyframes, we made it, you know, more artistic and it's taking the, its time to do a simple transition. Of course, guys, you can come to the mat to start applying certain effects if you like on the shape layers or, you know, adjusting the time or changing the graph trying to make it a bit speedier or, you know, settling very nicely at the end. But I like it the way it is now. And I hope you will come to After Effects and recreate this animation to train yourself and start creating your own transition mat. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next lecture.